Good morning. I am Coach Lavette Love, the CEO and founder of Love Life Legacy Coaching LLC. I am here. It is Friday. It is Freedom Friday. If you are listening to this message, you have made it through the week. We are here. Today, I want to share something with you about releasing and freedom. So what are we releasing today on this Freedom Friday? I'll tell you. We are releasing the fear of change. We gotta get rid of it. I'll go ahead and jump in. We have to be able to prepare ourselves for anything that life brings our way because life is about change, constant change. And oftentimes what happens with change? It brings challenges. We have to learn to accept those challenges and prepare for them. I am ready for what comes my way. I can handle anything. Can you look yourself in the mirror and repeat those sentences, those statements? I am ready for what comes my way. I can handle anything. Even joyful change can be stressful, but you have to have peace. Mm, The peace that surpasses all understanding through all of these life changes. You have to be prepared and ready for life. We have to spend time thinking about where our life is going and map out what's next. It's important that we prepare for change, that we realize that our plans may turn out a little differently than what we expected, especially if we haven't taken the time to seek God and ask him to direct our paths to help us. You know, we can come up with some great plans and it don't turn out like we like they should. When we are prepared, we can shape out more of what that destiny is supposed to look like. Each day we need to reaffirm our desires to accept life as it comes, to stop worrying about what happened yesterday. Cause guess what? We can't go back and change it. It's no different than my mom telling me when she was alive and I was younger that you cannot cry over spilled milk. You can't. If you if you drop the glass of milk, the glass broke. The milk is on the ground, right? Now, do you want the gla- the milk after broken pieces of glass are in it? No, it's done. Cannot be changed. That's the way we have to approach life, our lives. We have to stop being fearful or angry when there's a change that affects our world. That's the easy way out, to get mad, to get upset, to get afraid, and yet we do it. I shared with a group of ladies earlier this week um, through one of my journey workshops about uh, coming to terms with you know, discovering our power. And you can't discover your power until you learn to accept things as they come. It's all about our perception, how we perceive things. So it's all about how you, the attitude that you have. We can't walk around here with a negative Nancy attitude. We can't walk around here with negative self-talk, self-talk and self-sabotaging ourselves. No, 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 no. We have to let that fear go. Another thing I shared with them was think about when you was a a little girl, when you were a child, little girl, little boy, to whoever I'm speaking to today. You remember as a kid, we had the biggest dreams, the wildest dreams. We could come up with some things, with some stuff that we wanted to do, that we wanted to be when we grew up, right? The sky was the limit. There was no fear. We were not worried about change. And somehow between that time and now, as we are in our adulthood, we develop this fear. Oh, I don't want to do that. You know, I got to be outside my comfort zone. Oh no, I'm okay. I want to just keep going, keep my head down, steady, steady finishes the race. No, God has not given us the spirit of fear. We need to brush that fear aside, pull out those old journals, and go back and read some of the things you wrote, some of your dreams, some of your desires. What were they? What kept you from achieving them? What turned you away? It's time to rediscover your power. 
it's really time and you can do it, right? So we know change is important and we know that it's going to feel challenging. It's not going to feel good, but you know what else? It can turn out to be one of the best things that happened to us. We have to avoid judging each experience by itself. Think about a puzzle. The puzzle, once it's put together, is beautiful, right? It's a masterpiece. But that thing looks a hot mess with the, all the pieces scattered around your desk, scattered around your table. You can't see the whole. You have to put it together to see the bigger picture, the bigger context. That's the same way with our life. Don't look at all the individual experiences separately. Don't judge it. Look at the bigger picture, life as a whole. Think about looking at the whole pie. When we put challenges in context, they are often very different than what we first thought, okay? So when you're going through a storm, when you're in the midst of that storm, remain calm. Use that peace that you have. Think clearly and decide what is the next step that I should take. Because I plan my steps, I can avoid getting off the path. That Doesn't that make you think about ordering God ordering our steps? Are we asking him to order our steps, direct our paths? That's what it made me think about. When we make our to-do list to accomplish, how are we going to accomplish our goals? And we follow each step because you can't say you're going to drive to Florida if you're in the Carolinas, you can't say, first step, I'm going to drive to Florida and not have any additional steps of how to get there. How are you going to get there? You're going to be in a car. You're going to be in a plane. You're going to be on a train. How are you getting there? Are you going to have to stop for gas? Are you going to have to stop for food to use the restroom? Those steps are important. Without those steps, you get off the path. But with those steps, they're there right? Not saying you go completely stick to it straight ahead. No, but you'll be able to adjust and it'll be easy to embrace that change instead of fearing it because you laid it out. You can see it. Does that make sense? Being ready for life keeps us joyous and happy. So what am I asking of you today? Today, I want you to tell yourself, I am prepared for my life, regardless of what it brings. I have three questions that I want you to grab your journals to put these questions in. The first question is, what can I do to be more prepared for life? Got it? The next question, how can I stay positive when negative things happen to me? Ooh, that is all about your perspective, that lens that you're looking through. The final self-reflection question, how can I help others who are struggling with events in their own lives? Now listen here, you can't be go being Pollyanna and helping other people if you ain't got your own stuff figured out yet. That's called avoidance. Deal with your stuff first, go through your journey, learn some things, then you can help someone else. All right, I am Coach LaVette Love. This is your Freedom Friday, Friday message. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you soon. Take care.